Merry Christmas. <laughs> Happy Merry holidays. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Yeah, that's a good one. Merry Christmas. 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 Merry
I don't know how to use your coffee machine. Mm. Would be part a, of the problem. When you told me you were making coffee for Hannah, I was like, should I be making coffee for Kim? Only if she <laughs> wants the coffee. Well, I, I, the first day I asked you, like, do you want a coffee? I was making it and I had that thought in my head. I was like, do you want coffee? You were like, nah. But well, it's ne- a ritual. The next it's day. It's a ritual you know? now. You got yeah. your morning coffee and then your afternoon matcha. I like me- I like doing it. You know, it, t- it takes like 20 minutes out of your day to think, to sit and do one thing I fell uninterrupted. Out. I fell out of doing it for a minute because- You stopped uh, drinking coffee for a second. I stopped drinking coffee for a bit. But now, now I'm back in it. I can drink it again. And uh, yeah, I had to ask you. I was like, what was the- recipe again you had to like the ratio the ratio yeah. of like beans to like time brewed and then you told me and i had to tweak it yeah. but yeah nailed it. yeah that that's, one was for hannah, that's for hannah. <laughs> we saw that and we were like i was like that's hannah that's for the 100%. record she yells at me a lot because i use the uh we just we had just <laughs> recently started living together i love that i uh i've been using just the dish towels to take things out of the oven I do. I do and i'm like uh, ah, I ah. That too. <laughs> did you read what it said there's an oven mitt hung up right next to it bitch i am the secret ingredient <laughs> And I, so love that. True. I love that. I love that because I just, I just reorganized my spice drawer. I, I know that's what made us think of it because it had the little thing. I know, Thank I saw you. the TikTok. Initially, Kim was like, I don't want to get it that. It might not match her kitchen. I was like, I don't care I if it, it matches. <laughs> <laughs> Read what it says. No, oh, I perfect. love cookies. I love this. Technically for Zim, but also still people cookies. So, did you know? Oh, you have dog cookies? Did you know? Yeah. No, <laughs> I know. They got kind of taste good. Yeah. I. I was kind of initially Did your blown away. Mom have these? Yeah, yeah. So they're like this is the same brand as the other ones. We actually ate them at your yeah, house. I had one yesterday just to try. I was try about it. It was to tell good. that story. I was so yeah. weirded out because I haven't had a dog before being around a dog. I saw dog cookies and was like, oh, I don't want them. You, I got home. You guys were like eating them. <laughs> I was like, those are dog cookies. No, you're gonna die. Don't have another one. Eat this one. Well, it started as a joke, and then we were like, yeah, these are pretty. They're good. actually yeah. pretty good. Yeah. I had one Cause, of the cause she was ones. like, she was like, they're normal. They're, Kim they're tried to get me to eat whatever. one the other day. She was like, try one. I'm like, I don't want to eat a dog cookie. It's literally a people cookie that a dog can have. That's all it is. Yeah. Well, speaking of, can you stop munching on Zim's <laughs> breakfast? <and eat? laughs> I used to go to Petco and eat the cookies there. Wow. Yeah. That's a weird Time's thing. Time's huh? fancy cookies yeah. over there. It's also too big for Zim. We gotta take some bites. Yeah, out. why yeah, do that, they make that dog that cookies giant so large? Pack is gonna take Zim a year to eat. Yeah. Yeah, they're so fancy. It's like the Starbucks. Let me take a big bite out of it and I'll give the rest of them. Oh my god. (laughs) It's literally do it it, it on camera at least. Oh, right. right, right, He's a vacuum cleaner at home. He's so excited. Look at his little arms. Straight out. (laughs) (laughs) Cookie. Dude, he is not into it. Oh my god. He did it it right on the mic. He did it. It's okay. He dropped Uh, dropped a lot of it. uh, He tried, buddy. Yeah, right in the mic. Good job. Good job. Good boy. Also oh, it's me too. You got too much stuff. I don't think so. It was so. just like, we sent you something that's like a thank you. We sent like a whole box for Darla though. So we a had pengen, to get like some pengen. things for Zim. A pingin. Look, know? it's pengen. Christmas. Yeah. We haven't had friends before. <laughs> a pinguino. <laughs> Zim, what do you think, Zim doesn't buddy? like toys. I was worried. Oh, I, I didn't ask because I wanted to surprise. Zim, but Zim hates fun. Zim hates fun. So He's eating the cookie scrap that are oh, okay. Yeah, He's Kim got that and I was oh, I like, like, that is the I size of Zim. Oh, like this. It said scented. I was like, well, at the very least, it'll smell good. And he stopped. Zim, <laughs> <laughs> he gave it a chance. Not okay, okay, this is good. Good. He, he, he does good. like, he she does gets like him bones. these like bully sticks that okay. are, you, she calls yeah, them bull yeah. penises. She gets those. That, and <laughs> they are bull penises. They're twice the size of Zim. So he might manage with that. Well, hopefully he'll eat it. Okay, we've got okay, some those, socks. Those are his oh. socks, Those are apparently. mine. Unless you want to do a weird and wacky. And switch, because no. the other ones. Oh my God, it's yes, Darla. Darla oh my God. Look at the other socks. This looks exactly That's like Zim Darla. On the sock. Oh my God, See. it looks just like Zim. <laughs> Did you, is this like one of the companies where they make no, the dog? No, we, we just went found to them. a Hallmark and they just had Zim How do you socks? find a dog that looks like Zim? I don't know. Darla He's, is like a purebred. Zim is, oh, a million things. Initially, Kim was like, that looks a little too brown. I was like, how, it's like a vintage tan. The shape is right. Tan. Shape it looks like it. Right. It doesn't matter. The five ears perfect. Yeah. But. The big bad ears. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got a little Oh, yeah. Two of those. Well, kinder. Just kinder in case the other chocolates were we, not good. Because I was in, I, I, I grew up with actual Kinder eggs. And oh, yeah. These are the phony ones. When I was in Canada. Can't choke you? They can't choke you, no. When no, I was in Canada, Canada them. has the good ones mm-hmm. and Kim would come up and we'd smuggle some back and apparently yeah. that's illegal. Mm-hmm. But yes. we would, we would smuggle some back. And then they brought those out. And for the first year or so, we would always get one of mm-hmm. these. Every time we went grocery shopping, we'd get yeah. one each. Yeah. Got sick of the chocolate after a while, but they're still good. 
Let's talk about children's toys that have been like discontinued, taken off the market. Oh, yeah. Did we do, I feel like we did yeah. that actually. We? No, we had, we talked about toys we had growing up, but not discontinued. Right. Did we, mm -hmm. did you guys ever have Kinder Eggs here? Did they take them away at I some think point? They, I think they took them away, yeah. Is but it was like a very short period before our time, I think. We how, had Wonder how Ball, that you, was a thing. I was gonna say Ball. Wonder Ball, they yeah. were good. But you could eat the whole Wonder Ball. You could eat the ball, but then the, they had a toy inside. It was like a big oh, toy too, and they would yeah. like connect, you had like to like collect them all. The thing with Kinder is that the toy is inside a giant capsule yeah. In the chocolate. How did anybody eat that and choke on it? Well, you see a lot of the Japanese candy we get in the Tokyo treat and whatever. It has the like silica packets. Yeah. And like, you're never going to see that in America because people, and yeah. it says do not eat. Obviously they know not to eat it, but us stupid Americans are going to chomp right through that stuff. Also people eat Tide Pods. People eat so Tide Pods. Need to separate that was the whole food thing that from, happened. From so your country is to just too dumb clear. to handle the concept yes. of not eating plastic. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What yeah. other toys were discontinued that you know of? Um, I'm thinking for some reason of that, like it was a flashlight and it had a picture on um, the lens of it and you shined it against oh, the wall. I've seen those. What? Seen That's those? Why is that discontinued? It was a fire hazard. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Did you light anything on fire with it? Um, no, they took it away from me before I got that far, <laughs> but... Also, I'm, I'm thinking of light brights. Remember those things? They still make those. Do they make They're those? bringing those back. Yeah, that's one of the nostalgic toys yeah. that they are remaking now. I yeah. feel like Hannah's going to tell me that they uh, were toxic or, or I don't know, Probably. racist. Weren't they also a fire away. hazard? Didn't like the little things melt or something? Yeah. They malfunctioned. I was going to say, I think yeah. they might have been. Oh, this is before LEDs, so they actually yeah. were like real filament. Yeah. Oh, I can't God. believe I had that toy set. I talked about an episode where like I had a... A well, no, it was on your My episode, video, yeah. your video, where I had a weld, I had a car, toy car that came with little bits you could weld to it, and it came with a welder. And like, like as, a soldering iron. A soldering yeah, iron, yeah. yeah. Like, as a little kid next to the yeah, curtains, that was just like How? welding little, soldering little things together. My dad told me his dad was in World War II and got him a gun when he was 13. <laughs> That's a fun <laughs> and toy. And he would sit in the basement and shoot dimes with it in the <laughs> basement. Oh my God. Your grandpa's awesome. So think of that. Think about that. That's the same generation. They discontinued that toy. That's the same yeah. generation of kids that were eating the Kinder Eggs. Yes. So that's, yes. That's a good mix. And he ate a lot of lead and now he's blind. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Can't shoot run. dimes anymore. He's got to shoot quarters now. <laughs> They're bigger. They're bigger. Still misses. Do we want to talk about Christmas memories? Yeah, we should. Yeah. We, I, we're probably going to frame this as something to do with uh, like a... Uh, well, we, we had a lot of ideas we were going to do for this episode. What were no, they? Well, we, well, we, we, we had ideas. <laughs> we, 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 And then we realized this episode would either come out close to Christmas or like pretty much on Christmas. Yeah. Mm. So we figured we'd try and make it uh, Christmas themed. I was saying I get a lot of people asking me like what good gift ideas for like this significant that was another or something idea. that we was one of the do, ideas yeah. or we could talk about just general Christmas, Christmas well, memories. Well, what do you stuff. want? I mean, let's, let's this say is our first Christmas living together. Isn't that a big deal? It is. And you're not even going to be with me. You're going to see your family. <laughs> this is our first Christmas where it's going to actually be cold. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And my yeah. snow. The first even. actual snow Christmas. Holy hell. I was yeah. at your house and it was snowing. That was crazy. Yeah, that it's, was Yeah, weird. it started to For look like, like it was going to snow minutes, and then yeah. it stopped. Yeah. Bummer. We could do the, the Christmas buying guide idea. I did a video on my channel with Nintendo, but I mean, I can easily go into more about that or other consoles or everywhere. Or we can do the Christmas memories, or we can like flip and flap between all of them. We're huh? flipping and flapping all episodes. I don't care. Well, what do you so want to? What do you want to start? I don't know. Where do you, you want to start? <laughs> do you have a Christmas memory, or do you have a game you want to recommend this Christmas? I feel like when you're like trying to get a game for like a girlfriend or something, <laughs> you you might accidentally project what you want them to have onto right. it, especially if like, oh, she's a gamer. I imagine this person as a gamer, so now I have to get them like, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, what I would like, and then then might not necessarily like it. So we have real actual women here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you can, I can touch them. And choose that. Well, one of them. Just one. But yeah. I <laughs> only one. <laughs> I don't know. Do you guys have any good multiplayer games you can recommend? So like, Couch co -ops. I feel like we're in a very weird situation because uh, we are. Yeah, because we our whole relationship <laughs> was playing on. games together. Because oh, over the internet. Yeah, because that yeah. was the only time we got to hang out, and we were too awkward to just sit in a Discord call, so we had to do something. Yeah. Yeah. So what we ended up doing was playing Warzone and Valorant. Yes. <laughs> this is not very. You can't well. really gift those for Christmas. They're both free. No, you can gift uh, peripherals. 
for that. Yes. If you can gift like the V buck equivalent of in those games. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like Valorant monies mm-hmm. or like a keyboard is I think is yes, a great gift because normally people are caps. Yeah. Normally mm-hmm. people are gaming on like a shitty little Logitech. Do you have Paco? Now Hannah has a nice 120, 144 hertz monitor. So she's been slaying in the games. I gave her my uh, Eve Spectrum Mm -hmm. and I used to shit on it all the time. Because that thing changing between inputs on it, it just doesn't know what to do. It's it's like a, it was like a Kickstarter type thing. Mm -hmm. Like it was, and it was like the first HDMI 2.1 monitor. Otherwise, it's an incredible monitor. So, the monitor. So, but when I gave it to her, she was like, isn't that the shitty one? That you <laughs> and I was like, not for what you're doing. It's always yeah. shitty for what I was doing. Mm-hmm. Also, you had a friggin' uh, I had a Dell that was like this Dell big. Monitor. It was a four by three. Yeah, it's, anyway. an, it's an improvement. But now she's clicking heads. <laughs> I know. I noticed a giant change in her game when she got that monitor. You know what that is, though? She's going to attribute it to the monitor. You've been playing a lot. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> He's going to say that frame rate uh, doesn't make as much of a difference. It doesn't as make as much of a difference as you were going on about. But it gives you more confidence. It makes you play better. Yes. That's, I will, that's my I'll, argument. I will say it does. I mean, you've been, you were crossing She's a whole new game. In you were top of opinion. the leaderboard under fried biscuits. That's but right. still, you can't. Uh, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. He doesn't count. <laughs> fried biscuits doesn't count. He's our Smurf. You also just got a new keyboard too. You got the, yes. you took my Akko and you mm-hmm. recapped it, put all white caps on it. I did. Yeah. yeah. What do you want for Christmas? Well, I you got my fridge. Game? That's all I cared about. You did get a new fridge. I mean, you guys got a, a banger of a fridge. Yeah. We don't have to talk about a fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically you can play you, games on we it. Were so. tra- okay, yeah, we went true. to your you house really and the hard. first thing everybody noticed was this fridge with the freaking smart screen on it. And we were all huddled around it. The Draw, first thing pictures. we all did was go into the Android operating system, figure out what system it was. Mm-hmm. And then we went into the Google Play Store trying to figure out what we could download and stuff. I invited all my friends over. I'm sat there in the kitchen watching everybody crowd around this small <laughs> screen trying to download apps to play games. I was like, you got the wrong crowd of people looking at this fridge. Right I now. actually needed to get in the fridge. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I, just, I guess I'll wait a second. We we're like, ooh, a screen. You can. So we determined you can absolutely put emulators and stuff on there. It's just... You know, you got to like log into the Google Play Store. And nobody wanted to log into theirs on your. You also drew <laughs> a picture fridge. of Sonic on my fridge. I did. And then other people came along and added to it. Yeah. Ham and, Cheddar, ways. Ham and Cheddar wrote a nice little note for you. And put like stink lines on his feet. And <laughs> that was he artistic interpretation. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It was very nice. Yeah. I hope it's still there. But other than a fridge that can play games and has Sonic stinky feet on it. Mm. Uh, what more do you need? Really? Are there any games that you would want for Christmas? I this is how I'm I, finding out what I have to buy now. <laughs> you just ask. I think I'm in the minority here where I don't really have to ask for games. They just show up to my house. That's yeah, true. You and have I an just, incredible library. Yeah, any downstairs. game that I want. It She's always said that my basement's up. her GameStop. She yeah. keeps asking for games. To, like, can I have? Can I borrow that one? And I'm like, yeah. And then she just never touches it. She just goes <laughs> I, right I, back to I, Valorant, know we screaming can borrow, upstairs. We There's to. a great sealed copy of Pokemon Violet on Kim's bedside table that has been there for two weeks. She wanted to play yes. it for a second and then saw all of our problems with it yeah. and was like, I'm never touching this game. Yeah. That is fair. Yeah. You want to talk about Pokemon? <laughs> sure. Got a lot to say, apparently. <laughs> Unpacking is getting a physical release. That's exciting. Like Are they going to add like more levels? I don't know. Because I really like that game. One of Kim's favorite games from this year was Unpacking. Oh, I that's like crazy a, because yeah. you did that in real life. Yeah. I know. <laughs> and she hates doing it in real life yeah. and puts it off in real it's life. It's somehow and better when it's other people's stuff. And organizes other people's yeah. things. I'm right there the with game. you. I took forever to unpack yeah. all my shit. She I did it in two seconds and I was like, oh crap, I, I gotta did. hurry up. No, I, I, wanna, do. I wanna try that game. Is there like a design element to it or is it literally just like You can kind of satisfying? like decide what you wanna like put away and stuff, but it's like eight bit cutesy art. Oh, okay. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get uh, you get little apartments. Mm-hmm. It, like the places get bigger every level. Yeah, it's like the storyline of the designer's life. Yeah, and then so. you you just get all their stuff and you have to like put yeah, it away. You can put it wherever you but want. But it somehow basically. tells a story while doing yeah. all that too. Which is cool. Yeah, well, Kim really likes that one. What's the game that's coming out with the cat? That where it's kind of like unpacking, but it's like more like puzzles. Oh. And you, there's yeah, a cat Kim that comes and like messes everything one. up. That's why I wanted to see Kim's opinion on that game. Yeah. Cat and puzzles. I showed you yeah, that sure. one, right? It was in I the know. recent indie world. Like a, a yeah, where like the little yeah, cat's yeah. paw comes in yeah, and like messes yeah, yeah. with the stuff. Yeah, I do want to play that one. I think I'm, I was excited if, I think one. for me, I think unpacking looks a little bit more like in depth and maybe like more fun. But I don't know. You didn't play it? I No. 
<laughs> I'm just <laughs> judging by the okay. way they both. I, I don't know how I feel about games like that because like uh, I, I feel like I don't play games to relax. I mm. play games to like that's like do the only games you know? I play. I feel like I do that. Go out yeah. and boot up The Sims just to build a house and then Kim leave. plays a lot of Sims. <laughs> Love that. She designs rooms in Sims before she like does the actual room. I can't when tell we, you the last time we I actually played it. We thought about that for the new I, place. Yeah. We thought about yeah. that. Yeah. She's she was looking at Google SketchUp and stuff. And then we were like, it might be easier in The Sims. Yeah, it that's is, what she yeah. did. When we, when yeah, we wanted- the ratio is pretty good for like the square footage and stuff. You can kind of- When we initially wanted to get her room renovated that never ended up happening because the contract just screwed us over. She designed it in The Sims and we yeah. showed it and he was like, I can do that. Whoa. <laughs> awesome. There's a mod where you can print blueprints. Oh, that's like you design the whole thing and then you just print it out. But then like, you know, like you said, the square footing ratio is like weird because it's in like Sims. Yeah, it's like feet. And there's like a grid you have to stick to, right? Mm -hmm. In the in the building. Yeah. So well, not necessarily because you can do like the mods and everything, and then you can kind of adjust it however you want. But yeah, it does make it annoying. Zim's licking the chocolate wrapper. <laughs> He's hopeful. He's touching Zim death. enjoy that. Zim one chocolate might kill you. He's so small. He's so tiny. He's such a tiny man. Come here, you tiny man. Yeah. Okay, what now? I'm just slapping my hog. What are you getting me? Huh? Um, oh, I don't know. No, we we know. should just go out to I'm a nice a dinner somewhere. And that's oh, it. La yeah, We've gotten each other enough stuff because we yes, got we yes. gotta buy all this stuff for a house. You better get I, me stuff. I want stuff. I, I know who you are, so I've already got the stuff. The stuff's so on the way. <laughs> yeah. Make sure that stuff is on the way. <laughs> yeah. Last uh last Christmas we went out to a nice omakase dinner. Yeah. In April. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well you had COVID. I had COVID Christmas and then time. it took forever and yeah. that's almost Christmas in July. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. got a brand new NZXT computer. That's nice. Oh. And then went, this is so loud. <laughs> oh my God. Why is it loud? It's a great PC. I have a couple gripes with it. I Namely, know. all the, the ports are on the bottom. That's really annoying. Wait, what? Yeah. It's shaped like an Xbox. Yeah. It's like a tower like this. Uh -huh. I have a little, um, like a, a riser uh, installed so under the desk. We both have the standing desks yeah. and it's got the little PC holder. Mm -hmm. holder. So the holder has to hold it from the bottom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But all the ports are in the bottom. Yeah. So you have so to how like do you scoot under your desk and like push it's up. It's really annoying. That part's really <laughs> yeah, annoying. Oh my God. Yeah. Why? why? Why would you put the ports on the bottom? I don't know. It's really portable. <laughs> it's, it's, kind of, it's very, very nice looking it's, computer. It's okay. well, well designed. I guess that's I guess. just the way that the motherboard sits. It, uh, all the ports just sit on the bottom. Also, it's, the, the way the inside is designed is insane because it has yeah. to, because it's so small, but it's a full size computer in there. So they stacked everything Wait, together. How big really is well. it? It looks like a big like Xbox. This big. Oh, that's so tiny. Yeah. Yeah, it's very wow. tiny. Wow. And this was at the time where GPUs were still outrageously expensive, so we were definitely looking into pre-builds as our only option. Yeah, it was it was like cheaper than buying just a GPU. Yeah, that's why yeah. I almost bought one of those for a long time. Yeah. I still kind of want one. It's cool. It's a cool. I love it, but I don't want the one that you got. <laughs> well, I put the headphones on, then I never hear it. If if it's at the bottom, then what do you do when like it's not on a thing. On a riser. And you it's just on standing on a table. You lean it over. You lean it over, plug something in and lean it back. You basically just don't touch it once you set yeah, it you up. Yeah, you set it up and never touch it. Oh. Or you plug stuff on top. There's ports on top, but yeah. Oh, okay. Just there's headphones. Like, there's like one on top. There's a USB-C, USB-A, and a headphone. Okay. That's nothing. Yeah. yeah. That's literally there's not a lot to this computer. It's a very tiny computer. If you wanted to do like your whole thing where you have like I think a cam link what in I'm there and stuff, it's not gonna work. It's for Christmas, Hannah needs a new monitor. <laughs> <laughs> And a new build. She bought herself a new monitor. She bought a little 15 inch little guy. Oh, nice. Yes, my my little dream setup was to have like a, a mini monitor for Discord and just, it matches the, the height of the other one. It, it looks great. Nice, mm -hmm. I love that. So neither of you want anything for Christmas? We keep buying each other. We, we keep do. buying ourselves we stuff. We buy a lot of things. We gotta stop buying stuff. We do that a lot. We just you buy said, stuff. You said when you moved, I think you said when you moved into the Texas house, you. Just kept buying shit, yeah. and you were like, "We need to stop." We bought stuff, oh, yeah. especially Kim. Like you would go out to the store with your mom and come back with like seventeen bags of stuff for the house, and then it oh, would yeah. get spread around. And I'd be like, "Where to go? Yeah. <laughs> Where is that stuff? I don't see that stuff anymore." Yeah, well, we, I, I'm telling myself once I put all my like little work tools up on the wall, I'm done. That's the end of it. Mm -hmm. 
Because right now my office is like pretty much good. I just need to put stuff that's on the floor, on the wall. And that's good. Kim helped me rearrange my basement. Mm -hmm. I saw it. It looks uh, very nice. It looks good, yeah. You, no, you haven't seen. This oh. was like oh, three days oh. ago. He sent a whole <laughs> The rearrangement one. that I know about is when you put the desk on yeah, the Yeah, I didn't side. touch that part. <laughs> okay. The, the, other, the other half that was a mess, we like moved all the glass cases to like the other side. And mm -hmm. she helped me... Uh, Take apart at that big white cabinet and stuff. Oh, yeah, that was much less tedious than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, the big white IKEA cabinet. cabinet. Like yeah, big I don't thing. know if you remember when you would walk to the pisser. There was like the the <laughs> long the pisser, <laughs> the wrong the long white cabinet thing that was next to the bathroom. You probably didn't even notice. It was like it. kitchen cabinet. It blends in. Is that where you want to put the seamless? Yeah, the backdrop. Yeah, okay. yeah. And now, so now I got I, know I got about. that out of there, and now yeah, I got some more room to create another set. You have like a wall of those like uh, IKEA glass things. Yeah, I moved that wall. Oh, well, I moved the glass things. Rotated I didn't move it. the wall. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, I bought sense, one though. of those glass things, and I it's in like the hallway. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like part of the set, and I was like, I got no room, so I just shoved it. In the and they take like three hours to build. Yeah, Mine saw. did. <laughs> They're the worst. I talked about the, it already. You have to put the glass I think you did. up that way. We didn't talk to him about it. No, he doesn't know the joke. My, I got a task rabbit to build a bunch of Ikea stuff, and he spent five hours. Three of them was on one of those glass cabinets. And then at the end, he told me it's broken. Like, they, uh, they one of yeah. the parts is messed up. You got to call Ikea. And then when he really? left, when he left, I fixed it. And it was done. They do that a lot. They throw their hands up and they're like, yeah, it's broken. Order a new part. Did you have to pay them per He hour? charged me for the whole thing, yeah. How much did that cost you? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't rate them. I just gave them. On That's Twitch? <laughs> you rated them on <laughs> no. Twitch? No. <laughs> rate. <laughs> That's a good gig, you know. I'll come build your thing, kind of just mess around for three hours. <laughs> be like, it's broken. <laughs> I broke it. <laughs> Call it. She had a guy come and build a desk and the guy was great. That guy was, a good, was job. good, yeah. And he was like, wow, this desk is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Um, you've been installing like a lot of smart home devices, uh, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, like, it's really cool to like. Recommendations uh, for that. It's really, yeah, that's actually a really good, that's an easy Christmas gift. Mm -hmm. Everybody always needs new smart outlets if they want to yeah. have like a, if they have like an Alexa or a Google Home or even the, mm -hmm. the Apple Home Kit thing. Mm -hmm. uh, an outlet is always something that people can use or a bulb, but uh I like the the locks where you just walk up to the house and it just opens. It's freaking awesome. You never have to have keys on yeah. you. But I carry them anyway, just in case, because I'm paranoid. You know what would be a really good gift? Mm. And I'm just throwing this out here that everybody should get this gift. Mm -hmm. Everyone. Literally. A portable emulator with it. a thousand games on I it already. I want it. I want it. And you can get it. Mm. It's called Nintendo. And that's Trade Coffee. We don't have a trade sponsorship. Yes, we do. I looked it up. Ooh. I looked it up. What should we do? Says who? says Paul yesterday uh. they booked us for the 15th oh <gasps> i love coffee I let love me it. tell you my <laughs> little coffee recipe if you go to trade drinktrade.com slash nintendo yes probably get any of the beans you want we should probably pull it up no Not you the do beans it you want you the beans you need the beans that you need <laughs> i liked that thank that you was good found it Give me a pound. don't leave me hanging nice dude so uh you do a little espresso no no shut up you do no, one you of these it. nice fancy <laughs> one of these nice fancy chocolates in a cup. Get the peppermint extract, some sugar, and maybe a little bit of water. Put it in the microwave. Stir it. Make sure it's like ten seconds, a little hot. Mm -hmm. Then you put the shot of espresso in it. Then you put the milk. Then you put a little nutmeg on top. Oat milk. Come on now. Oat milk. Whatever milk choice you have, we don't discriminate. Sure. Then you put a little nutmeg on top for the aroma. It's like a nice fancy little, not too sweet, peppermint mocha. That's right. There you go. Starbucks ain't got nothing on him. Bobby, what a winter wonderland we live here on the East Coast. You know, it's wow. getting cold, 30, 40 degrees. You know what goes best with the winter weather? This man has one winter. And he's a all nice, of a sudden a winter professional. <laughs> a nice hot cup of joe. For real though, drinking coffee in Texas sucked. And I'm so glad to have trade coffee. You're just coffee. sweating all the time. I know. It's, I had to do iced coffee. Trade, And I used trade for that too. Trade coffee delivered straight to my door each and every, well, for me, it was every other week. But as often as I wanted, because trade is a subscription coffee service that will cater to your needs, Bobby. I got to up my subscription because now Hannah's Me taking too. all my trade. I this right here too. is an iced coffee. I made her about eight hours ago. Wow, she loved it. This is the thing people do. <laughs> they'll take a, they'll take an iced coffee and they'll drink it throughout the whole day. Probably not healthy well, for you. 
That isn't iced after a while, yes. but uh, I get not a wanting to warm consume coffee. all the caffeine at once. So that's something that I'm really bad about yes. doing. Because it's so, I mean, with trade, it's so easy and convenient to discover new coffees. So Absolutely. how do I not slam down my coffee just to try another one right after? This week they sent me, what is this? Beans and bean and bean. That's why I was excited. Bean and, bean. Me bean and bean. Yeah. Bean and bean. This Bob's the bean per- and bean. Peru Las Damas. We both love trade coffee because it is locally roasted beans, mm. roasted fresh. When and when how. the order is placed and how and sent straight to you within a couple of days, you even get a little timestamp on the bottom of the bag that tells you when it was roasted and it was usually in the last couple of days. There's nothing, and I can't stress this enough, nothing like getting fresh roasted beans when they arrive on your door and they're still glistening, they're still they're all shiny and new, they've just been roasted. <laughs> I equate it to like getting a frozen meal and then like freezing it and like, or like microwaving it like a month later and eating it. It's not going to taste great. But then you get a nice fresh meal that was prepared a couple of days beforehand or on the spot. Of course, it's going to taste better. And it's the same with beans. You know, I went to the supermarket the other day because I was desperate need for some coffee. And the coffee section honestly surprised me. It wasn't too bad, except for those roasting dates. Yeah. Old as your grandma. Yeah, but the roasting this, dates for the shelf suck. This uh December 5th and I I that B-roll that you might have seen maybe in this, I shot 2 days later, 3 days later. Mm-hmm. It was like incredible how quickly this stuff come. And also, you know, you could go to the store and get those old crusty beans. Or you just have it delivered to your door and not even leave. And you don't house. have to leave. And right now, holidays oh everything's crazy. There's a million people out there. The parking lots are crazy. Everybody's hitting your car. And the best part about not having your car hit right now is that Trade is <laughs> offering our <laughs> listeners a total of $30 off their subscription. <laughs> All you gotta do is go to drinktrade.com forward slash Nintendo and get $30 off. <laughs> and you you also see some picks that we have, some of our favorite coffees some feet, that are over feet there. Feet picks? Grippers? What's going on? <laughs> no. <laughs> coffee. Talking about coffee. Coffee. That's a sponsor. Coffee. Oh, yeah, there's a whole selection on there of Bob's favorite beans. You can grab some right now. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I really can't stress enough that ever since we first worked with Trade on our YouTube channels like years ago, both Bob and I have been paying members of this service. We love working with it. Yes. We're addicted to coffee. We get so and much it, coffee that the sponsored coffee isn't enough. We need we need to pay for our own I know, coffee I know, also. it's true. And it's just, I'm addicted to getting fresh beans delivered now. Like I honestly cannot go back. It's so um, much easier. It's so I much grind easier. my own just beans just like up. Bob does. And it's just so much better. Nothing but better sometimes I do beans. have to, in an emergency, grab some old crusty beans. It's just, you can taste it. It's not it's, good. It's the it's the the easiest way to get better tasting coffee is getting fresh and grinding mm. your own beans. Mm-hmm. Cuz grinding it is what makes it fresh. They also anyway. have a bunch of other kinds of beans and stuff and and, and coffee you can get. So just check out this website. Yes. $30 you can off get here. you can get pre-ground if you want pre-ground. Yeah, and it is fresh. If you're it's a fresh, weirdo. It's, I, it is fresh pre-ground. Some people just like to do a pot of coffee, Bob. That's how I started my coffee journey. Yeah, just a pot I, of coffee. Have, you know, have a little self-respect. Enjoy the process, okay? Not everybody watching has a grinder is all I'm saying. Get good. <laughs> all right. All well, right. Well, however you enjoy your coffee, <laughs> drinktrade.com forward slash Nintendo. Check it out. Yes. $30 is off. Thank you. Bye. Can we say something about this sweater-sweatpants combo? You're very comfy today. Yeah. Yeah. Bob gets dressed. Say something about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got. Do I got, it, pussy. I got what, enough what to say I, about what? this guy. What? He, you, I, I'm impressed. I, I truly, you get dressed every day. You put on jeans to sit around the house. <laughs> did, you not, did you not know that he does that? No, I, I had a. I knew he was that I, kind of guy. It's but because when I. When you see it in person, it's like. I, I don't leave to work, so right. I feel like I, the day hasn't started unless yeah. I am ready to. Yeah. I'm exactly I have do to the do the day. Same thing. I haven't yeah. gotten dressed yeah. in a month. I, I. <laughs> she's been a. She's been a little gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> Adjusting to this new life has been. Difficult. It's an adjustment. <laughs> uh, the separation between work and home life. I've been 
trying really hard to nail it in with myself. So something I will do is if I, if I've decided I'm not working that day, I probably won't put jeans on and I'll try and stay casual and I'll get dressed maybe in like slacks or like comfy pants or something. Mm -hmm. But like, if I'm doing work, I'm like waking up, showering and putting jeans on. Yeah. Like I need to feel active. Like I'm going yeah. somewhere. Yeah. I need yeah. to feel like I started. Yeah. I don't want to get yeah. comfy. I don't want to feel too yeah. comfortable. I want to feel kind of like annoyed. Yeah, you do have to trick your brain when you work from home. Yeah. yeah. I will say for like a week and a half, I was just hanging out with you for like the whole time. And like, yeah. I had to tell myself like, wait, I gotta like do stuff. It's really you know? hard. It's yeah. tough. Like it happens with us all the time where yeah, like- Yeah, we do get sidetracked. If we take a day, like I'm like, okay, let's take a day. I've been working a lot. That'll bleed into like two days, like yeah. a, a day, a two and a half days. And I'm like, I, I gotta yeah. do something. Even if it's like going down there to play games, like I need yeah. to be down in that, that space for a bit to kind of reset and ease back into work. It is really nice having a separate space. Like you have the yeah. basement yeah. and I have that. That, that was now. a that was a game changer. I, mean, I think when we were like in our worst place is when I was just like working all through the house because yeah. there was no like yeah. off switch. I was always like, I don't have time. Yeah. It's well, like you, only yeah. like when I'm down there that I'm like, I don't have time. I had a freaking tiny little bedroom. That the bed goes everything. up. Now it's my office and I'm just yeah. here and I can't leave. I couldn't even like hang. I never even really hung out on the couch because it was shared with my roommate. Mm -hmm. So I would just fall asleep in my computer. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would come here and work here. So like it was always work, work, work. And now like I can lay on the couch and then Zim comes and does this. <laughs> and she comes over and then I'm like doing, let's do the Wordle. And then we do that for like 45 Wordle. minutes. Um, and you but, guys stay up till like 4 a.m. We were up till like 4 a.m. Which night. is a routine that we used to be on. Yeah, Darla changed a lot for us. That's one of the yeah. things. Oh, this motherfucker. He'll well, sleep he as long keeps as we me will. in bed. <laughs> yeah, because he doesn't want to get up, and then he just does this, and you know you can't move. <laughs> He's very cat-like. Cat yeah. yeah. Sometimes I wake up and I'm like, I'm lying there for half hour. I'm like, okay, now I'm finally gonna get up, and Simon will come and sit on me. I'm like, another half hour. <laughs> yeah, exactly. like, Don't worry about yeah. it. But Darla needs to get up and like be taken out right now. Yeah, in the morning, Darla so. goes out at about eight o'clock every morning, so I'm awake mm -hmm. at eight o'clock. I usually get up morning. at nine. Yeah, she's still a puppy, so she's got to yeah. go out. Yeah. But like we, we get that routine going. lived yeah. together for the first time, which was like four or five years ago now, yeah, long time. our sleep schedule got so bad and twisted that we were- we It were, circled back. We, mm -hmm. I don't even remember. We would go to bed at like three or four. No, we would we, we no. got to the point where we were going to bed at like eight, nine. That's what I was saying. We would go, we would like go on no sleep. We'd go to flea markets. We'd go to like Rosa's in the morning and then go to flea markets and then mm -hmm. go to bed at like noon. We would usually wake <laughs> yeah, up and like bad. go to Denny's to get breakfast because like it would it would be like it would already be dark. It's already like eight p.m. Yeah. and we would go to Denny's and get breakfast because it was the only <laughs> place that was like open that we could get breakfast. That was our lives for like a year. Yeah, and well, then yeah. for a while, yeah, that's gonna we, be us. That's another for, working from home problem. Every for a few while months, we loved you gotta it. like reset. Yeah. But then we quickly started to hate it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it sucks in the winter because yeah, it becomes nighttime so quickly. Yeah. We yeah. woke up at like two yesterday. I was saying that to Kim. There's like, a reason why, though. I was like, imagine if we were still waking up at one or two, and we were getting like an hour I would of daylight. Be losing my mind. Oh, I, yeah. I worked on a video till six thirty in the morning. Oh my god! Yeah. That's why. yeah. Wednesday nights are a wild west. Wild west, baby. You never. Can know you what's going sleep? On. Can you go to bed like without him or? We well, yeah, yeah. We actually have a bed in like the guest bedroom, which has kind of become my bedroom since it has my little setup. It's in kind there. of become Zim's so, bedroom. So you're yeah. sleeping se separately already. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Sometimes this morning I woke up, she was in the other bed. Yeah, well, sometimes I'm like tossing and turning. Sometimes you just gotta get a new environment. Sometimes I'm loud. I make noises in my sleep. Apparently. Yeah, well, that, that too. I grunt and stuff, right? Of course. <laughs> Very noisy. We, we typically can't sleep like without each other, especially like Kim with not being able to sleep without yeah, me. Yeah, it's weird. So often, oh. if my sleep pattern gets messed up, hers gets messed up because she'll just stay right. up. I think we did definitely influence each other's sleep patterns, but. No problem sleeping in other rooms. <laughs> it's yeah. also nice you like wake up and like, you know, like I come into the room yeah. and I'm, wake up, you know. Yeah. I don't know. I that's sweet. I can't do it. I don't know. <laughs> I I don't know. I just I feel like I you guys know because when we play games past like one or something, I start to get a little annoyed. Not annoyed, yeah. but like I'm yeah, like no, I know. if healthy. I go if I go to bed and Kim's asleep, I'm gonna be really upset. Because I am. If I don't get yeah, it's to more of a you problem than a me problem. You get sad. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if well, I don't get to at least have a little bit of conversation with Kim before we pass out, I feel like I just kind of, 
I don't know. It's not a nice night. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I get well, it. I used to like, I've lived alone before moving with you. I lived alone for like three or four years. So I'm kind of used to just sleeping mm-hmm. on my own. I, we kind of so like alone time. We do. You know, we yeah. kind of we, we like alone time in the day. I think we do a yeah. lot of yeah. separating. We just have a lot of uh, activities that we watch on TV and stuff at night. We have so many shows. That's one of my, uh, both of our We're favorite so thing is getting right into bed at like 10 or 11 yeah. and then watching TV to like 1 a.m. And like catching up on everything. She'll fall asleep no matter what's on TV. She'll really? Just pass right out. Well, we're usually watching a Twitch stream or something and we're on our phones. We're not like actively watching. I put on Andor because I want to finish it because mm-hmm. everybody says how great it is. But the first two episodes are really dragging. And it was on for like two seconds and she just keeps lowering the volume. <laughs> 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 That's one way to put me to sleep. Something is good about Kim is that she could sleep if the volume was like 50. Like yeah. she would just get. Well, because if I just lay on my good side, then, you know. Yeah. The deaf can't, ear, hear can't hear nothing. Oh, okay. There you go. We'll, I, we'll get into bed and we watch like two hours of wrestling and then we'll put on two like 90 day fiance episodes. Oh, God, yeah. And, yeah. I, I want to <laughs> say I feel really bad because like <laughs> I was, I was, uh, I was streaming. Some Guy Fieri. <laughs> That's fine. I worked on 90 day fiance. I know. Yeah, I, know. I love He was the fiance. Yeah. He was. Yeah. yeah. I was the one that liked feet. Which one? Oh, there that's were my, a that's lot. all of them. I know. That's, <laughs> that's the worst part. Oh, no. I was streaming the other day and somebody came in and was like, I just want to say this has been a great time because I just got through a really bad breakup and it's great to take my mind off of that. I saw that. And then somebody else was like, oh my God, me too. And then they started talking to each other and they were like commiserating in their misery. And then Hannah came in, cookies! (laughs) And like came and like hung out and stuff. And you were like, it's awesome to have a girlfriend. It's so cool. (laughs) (laughs) Literally, we literally leaned into it. (laughs) (laughs) So that's what's happening here. Sorry, everybody. (laughs) Fucking going through some shit. I was trying to eat healthy. I've been trying to eat healthy. And then you guys kept talking about those dang cookies. Mm. And I was like, you just sent me cookies. Yeah, baby. So I went and, and ate they some were of the Dragging you down to hell with us. They right. We really finally nice. ate one of the rainbow ones. Oh, yeah. They were good. Mm. They were rainbow. Good. I like those. The, the yeah, fun like fatty or whatever. Ooh, yeah. Baby. I used okay. to get the, I got it from Dana's Bakery, not a sponsor. I I used to get those for myself, like the gift package for myself to my apartment. You know what? It's ironic though. What? Every time I go to eat one of those dang cookies, I make coffee and the coffee is trade coffee. Oh, so wow. I, do, oh I, I the, dude, I do like cookies, but like a cookie without coffee, not the same. Yeah. Like yeah, having I'm, a coffee with a cookie or any kind of baked good next yeah. to a coffee. I got to have a little treat. Oh, boy. I got to have a little treat. I have to have my dinner, then I have to have a little treat, and then I got to go take a nap on the couch. Couch time. Couch time. I I eat my dinner and then I go, couch time. And I I hope Zim runs with me. (laughs) It's true. (laughs) Sitting time. (laughs) Dindins. Bobby Hungy. Bobby Hungy. One dessert. Um, Yum, yum, Couch time. (laughs) It's literally exactly right. Jesus Christ. You're 30. I'm 33. Exactly. Was this about Uh, Christmas at one point? No. Oh, yeah, Christmas. Yeah, Yeah, Christmas. That's a holiday. We like freaking girlfriends and wives on here. Any um, like Christmas memories you guys have? Oh my God, so many. Thanks for asking. Thanks for bringing that up, Hannah. You know, Christmas is a great time for us to hang out with our friends. Related (laughs) related to games, perhaps? My, my, my. My favorite Christmas ever was uh, when I got, uh, what was the Twilight Princess? Mm. I got a Wii. This was, this was right. I, I didn't, my Christmases weren't great. <laughs> so favorite <laughs> for me is a, is a low bar. This was right before um, everything went down. And uh, I had, a, I had a part-time job. So my parents and I went half on a Wii. So I bought, I bought a Wii. And then oh. we also got uh, Twilight Princess and Red Steel. And I remember opening that. I had to wait because we got it. It came out in like November. And then I had to wait like a month to actually get to open it, which sucked because I paid for half of it and I'm having to wait a month. Um, But I remember opening it and playing it from start to finish. And it was the best Christmas ever because I literally got it in the morning and then went to my bedroom and played it for like two straight days. (laughs) Didn't see anybody else. What about Red Steel? Did you like Red Steel? I started it after. A lot of my friends liked to play that together. And I was, and then I played it and I was like, you just like this because it's on the Wii and you're using the Wii mode. Like, it's not that good. As a <laughs> as like a 15, 16 year old, I don't know, someone is running up and down the steps right oh, now. Oh, it's drum set, I thought. Sound like a drum. 
You want a sick Zim on? <laughs> is that someone running up and down or someone playing drums? Are you serious? <laughs> are you are you fucking serious? We're still recording. <laughs> Get him! No. Shut up. Jackson started okay, playing Kale, the drums. We forgive you. Oh my god. Don't yell at my don't yell at our friend. Just Kale. Him. He didn't know we were recording still. And I was uh, like, <laughs> what uh, what about you? I, I have distinct memories of my granddad getting his Nintendo, and then we just played Dr. Mario for a very long time. Yeah. That was a fun day. Her granddad was a big gamer. Oh, yeah. Oh. He yeah. liked the NES. And then, oh. and then we bought him a Wii, and he played a lot oh, of bowling. Oh, he loved the bowling. Oh, hell yeah. Him and, uh, him and your It's a very old man. person. They, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we got them. We got both your grandparents, the yeah. Wii, and they would always bowl each other and like get really good they they started like getting like 300 games and yeah. stuff yeah yeah my girl and so we would good. go there and they would always talk yeah, they about had who won night. the most yeah. games that week and then they were like you want to play <laughs> 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 like, oh god and they would smoke us every yeah. time like, yeah. i used to i left our nes at my grandma's house so every function every family function we had where we'd go to the grandma's house it was to, I would hang out playing the NES. Why are you making? You sound? triggered a a, a, a core cool memory. Nightmare. Yeah, for me, we left our SNES at my grandparents' house. Oh, I know the story. And one day we come over, and me and my brother come, and we can't find the SNES. And my grandpa's like, "Oh yeah, I threw it out. I didn't know what it was." Oh my god! So for Christmas the year after, I bought my brother a Super Nintendo because I felt. What do you Horrible. what do you mean we don't, we don't we don't know what this technology is we're going to throw it away Yeah my 80 year old yeah. grandpa really didn't know uh, yeah. he, he was like I don't know what to say just threw it out cuz he's not thinking about that uh, you know it sucked but uh, Street Fighter 2 is still in the house so we took that yeah, and it was good sorry we used to go to my grandma's house and go hi grandma and then run in the basement and just stay there the whole time <laughs> yeah. playing uh, I would play uh Mario 1, 3, uh, I had Ninja Gaiden that I took from my roommate. I traded him a Mighty Ducks action yeah, you figure. you told me that. And then I became his roommate. Uh, and Back to the Future 1 and 2. Yeah, those aren't good. That game sucked. Yeah, not good. Yeah. What was, the, what was the first game you ever played, Hannah? The first game I ever played? It's got to be on like the Game Boy Advance. Um, I was a Pokemon fan as a kid. Um, Animal Crossing. I, oh, I asked classics. you, I was playing with an emulator and I wanted yeah. you to play it. And I was like, what are some of your childhood games? And you, it was hard to pull one out of her, <laughs> but uh, mm -hmm. there was one game. It was like an anime game. Oh, that, the Shaman the game King advanced. game? Yeah, yeah, Shaman King. Shaman King game? It was an anime not that Shaman, I liked. Not Shaman, like, like the toilet paper? Not mm -hmm. that one. The, the, the poopy Shaman. bears? Yeah, not the poopy bear, guys. Mm. Shaman. Yeah, it was just, it was a, um, like a platform. dumb was anime like a, on WB Kids. Have you played it? Yeah, it was um, okay. It had a weird, like, a, like, it was like a platformer, but it had like a weird RPG element where there'd be like an overworld map and you had to go. Oh. It got good reviews. Okay. <laughs> I looked it up after. I've never heard of it. That before. was on Game Boy Advance? It was on Game Boy Advance. Mm -hmm. yeah, did, that was probably one of your what, what, what Did you have like the rectangly one or the um, SP? My first one was the SP. Yeah. Yeah. That was my second Game Boy. I had the color and then I got the SP. Okay. I got yeah. the I had the rectangular one and then for whatever reason I opened it up and I carved a hole in the bottom and put a pocket knife inside. <laughs> huh? I don't know why I did that. How old were you? Do you have like it? Like middle school or high school? Still have it? I don't know. It's in the garbage. It's, I broke the hell out of it. I destroyed have it. Have I have I told the story cuz I think I've told like the the Twilight Princess story before. Have I ever told the story of when me and my brother got the SPs? No. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so my my brother, who's like a couple years younger than me, he was never the brightest kid. It was, <laughs> okay. it, it was always like he had just something, like a couple screws loose. I don't mm. know what was going on in there. Um, and I remember it so vividly. We went on a family vacation to Murray Bridge. Not that any of you guys know what that is because I'm the only Australian here. Uh, <laughs> And we're like staying in this little Airbnb, not Airbnb, uh, uh, an actual b, b a real b, b What are they called? Bed and breakfast. A hotel? Yeah. Thank you. Bed and breakfast. Not a little bed and breakfast. <laughs> okay. A hotel. <laughs> and we're getting our presents. <laughs> and this year, my mom, because my mom was always in charge of it, I guess they saved up and they got us both Game Boy SPs. Mm -hmm. I had Fire Red and he had Leaf Green. Like this was huge. This was a huge thing. I can't even imagine how much that cost, right? 
So like, that was like one of the first presents we opened. I've got mine. I'm like, oh my God, this is like what I wanted. I've like put it next to me. I'm so excited to start playing. There's a few more presents left. Like we're like one or two presents in to like opening the rest. And we hear this. (laughs) And like, we start looking around. We're on hardwood floors. And I kid you not, he's got the Game Boy SP on the floor on the front, like on the top down on his foot. And he's just going like this and just waiting for his next present. Such a vivid memory. It was scratched. Yeah. It was scratched to all hell. Like it, like that, the top of it was, thankfully it's a clamshell. So you could still play it. Why was he doing that? He's dumb. <laughs> He's not a smart Being kid. stupid? I thought he was I, like upset he got the no, SP. No, he just wasn't thinking about it. He's, he was like, oh no, I ruined it. I'm not like, I, I'm I'm saying it playfully, but he was not a smart kid. I have a lot of stories. Was that I, the same uh, one that choked on the candy and then yeah, ate that, the candy? Yeah, that's my favorite story. <laughs> he was, was just so testing bad telling out these the, stories. the screen. But uh, he had like this lolly or cough lozenge or something once. And he was like, obviously eating it. And it got caught in his throat. And he started choking and he couldn't breathe. His face went purple. Like it was t- scary. And mom is like slapping him on the back. And like, she's never done the Heimlich before. And she was like trying to do the Heimlich. This was going on for so long. I've never seen someone this purple. <laughs> Finally, he goes <laughs> and he falls on the floor. And without missing a beep. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, there it is. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, I just started laughing. <laughs> mom was so mad. He's like, thanks, mom. <laughs> she made him spit it out. She was like, spit it out. <laughs> oh my God, sorry. Imagine he fucking chokes on it again. <laughs> there no, was, there was another it. time where I don't I don't even know how this happened. I don't like I was in the front seat, mom was there, he was in the back seat, and we were at Burger King. And he had to like get out to do something. I don't remember, throw some trash away. And I guess my hand was like, I don't know, like up or like in or around the door. And like he gets back in and he shuts the door and it shuts on my fingers. And like my hand, my hand is trapped in the door. And when it happened, I thought I was like, I thought the fingers were gone. I didn't know what was <laughs> happening. And I'm screaming and I'm like crying. I'm like, open the door, open the door. And mom's like, oh my God, open the door. And he sat there for so long going like this. <laughs> like he's the one in the back seat. So like, mom's just like, open the door. He starts winding down the way. <laughs> he's just winding it down so slowly. <laughs> We should have him on the and they're podcast. like not good enough. <laughs> He's so stupid. Uh, oh my, God. my fingers were fine, and somehow magically they weren't even damaged, but they were shut in the door. Oh <laughs> it was God. just the old like cut. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, this isn't supposed to be about my brother. <laughs> did I ever tell you? Did I ever show you that? This, did I ever tell you the story of that scar? You did on an episode. Oh, yeah, never mind that, then. Yeah. I can't That's remember my, though. My brother, we were running after the ice cream man. Yes. And yes. my brother closed the front door and I just had momentum and didn't stop because I was five and there was an ice cream man and I just mm. went through the window. <laughs> 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 and that was that. And that scar was this big and now I'm bigger. So it's huge. Oh my God. No start sharing scars. I got a big one right here. Oh, what happened? We uh, talked about this. Yeah, we, I know. We did I probably brought episode. it up when you mentioned yours because I got threatened. <laughs> uh, you got threatened? Yeah, you had a cool scar and I didn't. Uh, I, I must have been like two and my we were at my grandma's for Christmas and my uh, brother was playing uh, Sega Game Gear and it was my cousins and I wanted to play because I was two and I got mad. So my instinct reaction was to uh, bite my brother's back <laughs> and take a chunk out of his back. No, that makes oh. sense. Yep. How, how, taste. Okay, how good was it? It's good. <laughs> oh that, that, that same that same day, I think <laughs> I think he threw a vase at me. So uh, yeah, he got my. You needed to back. get you back. Yeah. 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 I, I I brought on my phone because I I remembered a story where my I, my dad got himself a game. Mm. He never played games. Mm. He, I think, played Tetris on the Game Boy before I was born. But then after I was born, he gave up games. Because mm. he's like, I'm a dad now. I can't he's ever play playing, a game. Yeah, yeah. Can't, can't be doing that. Uh, so he bought himself, I, it might have been for Christmas, but I don't, it was for a holiday. It might have been Father's Day or Christmas. I don't remember. He got himself Rogue Squadron for the N64. And oh, yeah, that's and, a great game. And me and my brother were like, this is awesome. We yeah. love Star Wars. He wanted it because he wanted like a fighter 
autopilot game. So mm-hmm. like this was that for him. Mm-hmm. And excuse me, sir. The story's not about you. <laughs> so we uh, we watched him play it, and we bullied him so much. We backseat gamed him so much. He rage quit and never played oh again. Oh my god! He never played a game. After. That's so upsetting. <laughs> and I tweeted about that, and he responded. And I said, is this true? And he said, yes, after being bullied by Sun 1 and Sun 2, I never played another <laughs> video game. However, I watched the Wolf Den, Wolf Den podcast and Nintendo podcast. Hello. Alas, <laughs> wait, <laughs> he, just a typo. I also have Wolf Den merch, which I proudly wear and make the perfect Christmas gift. And then he said, hashtag Wolf Den Dad. Your My dad's God. shameless plugs, but also <laughs> shits all over you as well. Yes. <laughs> On Facebook, uh, he he used to post on Facebook all the time. He probably still does, and he would call us <laughs> Sun One and Sun Two. Who's one and who's two? I'm two. Because you came after. Because I came after, and uh, he had like a big retirement party that everybody threw for him, and there was a billion people there because I guess he was very popular at his job. Mm. And when I went there, though, everybody was like, "Oh my God, the famous Sun Two. <laughs> famous. <laughs> this is before YouTube and stuff, so that's literally how I was known. Sun I was two. probably more popular as Sun Two than anything else at that time are you okay what are you threatened by <laughs> you're surrounded by loved ones we would never let anything happen to you any other christmas memories or games you want to recommend i can't think of anything christmasy hmm. at the moment my brain's drawing a blank do you still have that game boy um i, th- I might be you able better to find, find it, it at your dad's <laughs> it might be we there. don't have enough game boys are you able to restore it and do something cool with it? Yeah. What's wrong with okay. it? Whatever you want to. I could put a pocket knife in it and ruin it forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I might be able to find it. That'd be cool, though. I, I have all of my... So I have, like, the way I set up my displays in the basement, I have uh, all of the, like, YouTube stuff, all the stuff I made videos on, and then separately I have all of my, like, childhood stuff. Because, like, my childhood systems I never want to touch. I want them to be, like, raggedy sense. and, like, shitty. Like, mm-hmm. my old Game Boy is beat to hell. Mm-hmm. But, like, that's... I don't want to restore it because, like, that's... It's nice that you still have it. Yeah. 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 Did you think as a child, like, I want to preserve these, like, for later in life? Or were you just kind of... They just... I think very young we started collecting games. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. We we never... We almost never traded anything in. The only thing I know I traded it was Luigi's Mansion. (laughs) I hated it when it came out. (laughs) Because I just wanted a Mario game for my nice new console, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I was definitely the same. Like, when I saw my brother scratching his, I was like, oh. Yeah. (laughs) Like, that really... (laughs) Yeah. That really hurt my feelings. And yeah, I always tried to keep things in really nice condition and tried to keep the boxes and never traded anything in. Yeah, we it have wasn't, a basement full of boxes at my parents' house and I'm I'm about to throw them out. But The only thing I ever traded in was the Wii because I didn't have money to also get something else. Yeah. And like, I was just so done with it. Like, I was like, this thing sucks. Did you work at GameStop? No. I thought we talked about that. Kim did. Kim did, oh. yeah. No. We used to do that whole, when I worked at GameStop, didn't we would- have GameStops for one. You had E B or something, games. right? I had E B games. Yeah. yeah. Same thing. We we would do like the wheel and deal where like if there was like a promotion or something where it's like get an extra fifty dollars just for trading into DS Lite. Like we would do like a wacky thing to like get another console or something. We would do stuff like that, but nothing like we wouldn't purposely get rid of anything that mm-hmm. we had. It would always be like an extra thing. Like I traded in my DS Lite, I think, for a whole ass Xbox. Oh wow. Because <laughs> it was just a good promotion. Time. Time. Got five minutes five left. Minutes? Well, I mean, there's a sponsor that would have filled some time. You get any closing I Christmas statements? What do you want for Christmas? Yeah, what do I get you? Yeah. Oh, you're going to get me a present? <laughs> yeah. A Lamar Zoko. I want a Lamar Zoko. You know what? I've given up on the Lamar Zoko. What if we give each other Lamar Zokos? <laughs> That's a lot of money. <laughs> I've given up on the Lamar like Zoko. It it's own. too much money. It's and an it's espresso. It's a very expensive espresso machine. I was just about super. to ask. <laughs> too big for the counter. I think it sounded like it might be a little too confused. tall for the counter that we have. Mm-hmm. I might get in uh, a Scasso. It's like it's still nice. It's still expensive, but mm-hmm. not nearly as expensive. I. Well, I've been fine with my yeah. little. Yeah, I thought that was. I'm kind of fine too, but if it was nicer, it'd be cool. That's the well, That's why. I, let me finish. <laughs> I've been fine, and then you introduced me to that R Espresso community on Reddit. Oh no! 
And now every time oh, I see no. someone post their fancy machine, I'm like, oh, that that's literally good. all it is, is people posting yeah. their, uh, their machines. Yeah. And there's also like really, really stupid, like in jokes that they make. Yeah, I know. And I'm like, ha I get that. <laughs> and I show her and then. I'm like, uh. She's like, you're fucking weird. I just like looking at the fancy machines. Yeah, it's literally all it is, is people showing their setups. And then you're like, oh, that's cool. I wish I, and then you look up the grinders that they have and you're like, oh my God, this guy spent $3,000 on a grinder. But here's what I actually want. Okay. World peace. Is this from you or from you? Just in general. Like you if, you were, if you were asking Santa for a gift, <laughs> what would you ask Santa for? Yeah, he can materialize things. He's yeah. magic. Uh, yeah. That's the hard thing is that I have everything I want and it's right here. Oh. Aww. And also all the games that I have. <laughs> you were thinking of your game. And dog. I've got them all. I've got them all. I got a dog. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, I just want to have a nice Christmas and a happy time. Yeah. What do you want? Fridge. Got it. I got, got you a it. fridge, yeah. <laughs> got it done. Done. What do you Love want? It. I'm good, man. I think it would be nice to go out to a nice dinner again like we did last year. Yeah, we can uh, we plan went to something, a, yeah. We went to an omakase. It was nice. Mm-hmm. Where, I, where is that? Was that in the city? You can, there's like a billion places in the city. We went to one that's by Chelsea, I guess. Is uh, there one closer to you in Long Island or not really? I haven't actually looked, to be honest, but there probably is. It's, it's when they like, uh, I know you know, but tell everybody else. It's when they like, spend like 10 minutes on one roll of sushi and then they mm-hmm. it, it's like whatever's just on the menu that day they just do it it's and then they go this is a tuna blah, yeah. blah, blah. it's so a curated get to order. experience no it, it's the chef's menu it omakase cool, stands though. for like chef's choice oh okay uh and they yeah spend 10 minutes on a roll give it a year and spend 10 minutes on a roll give it a year and it's a 15 course 12 to like 20 courses or something Holy but, but one simple. course is one roll of sushi. how long do you end up being there for like an hour hmm, hmm. And then it's we quick. it's one piece. Yeah. And then you leave oh. hungry. Oh. Pieces of sushi. Oh. And then, and then the, are you okay. hungry when yes. you leave? Yes. 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 Absolutely. Yes. Hey, you go oh. for the experience. It's, it's very expensive. And then you yeah. leave. And then we went and got Korean hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I, we went to one uh, Domo Domo there on uh, Houston. And so it's like, yeah, it's like $98 for a 13 course meal. It's just little baby pieces. It's not oh. cool. And then at the very end, they ask if you liked anything, we'll give you another one. But then oh. you have to pay like $15 for like an extra one. Yeah. So you're not really giving it to me. No, no, no. Offering me. But they have to make it again. And then you see yeah. them like craft the one piece of sushi with like a million things. Do they do it right in front of you or something? Yeah, it's, you're at a yeah. bar. Oh. It's cool. Yeah. It's awesome. It's great. Okay. Yeah. That but there's one it close is like to an experience. Maybe there's yeah. one that I really want to go to. It's in the arcade in in, uh, in Chinatown. There's like a famous arcade. Ooh. Oh. And inside of it is like a speakeasy door where there's just like beautiful like omakase. But- it's like four hundred dollars a person. <laughs> oh my god! Maybe next year. If they want to sponsor the podcast. Nintendo I mean, that'd money. Be great. I was gonna say, could you do an episode in there? Ooh. Would they let you? Because you book time. Yeah. And you're probably like the only. Yes. Yeah. I mean, four yeah, people. You could ask. I mean, why not? Couldn't hurt to ask because it's an yeah. arcade. Then you could do the bonus episode playing the game. So you can film in the arcade, but they want a thousand dollars a day to film. Yeah, I tried to take oh. pictures in there, and they were like, "Yeah, it's a thousand dollars to book it." And I was like, "We don't need to book it." <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, no, we How only cool do it like is that. it that it's a thousand dollars? They just get a lot of like film people that uh-huh. want to. Mm. Chinatown, that area gets a lot of film Which stuff. Arcade? The Chinatown arcade, not not the Family Fun arcade one. That yes, is, it's that. Yeah, the one with, with the, the DDR machines. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. The one that used to have a chicken in a box. Yeah, and you would pay like a quarter yeah. and it would do a trick. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, yeah. yeah. What? Little, little you can't just gloss eggs? over that. Chinatown. <laughs> Wait, a it's real Chinatown, chicken? Maybe? Yes. Oh, yeah. real dose different. Than I didn't the know one there I was a, a speakeasy in there. <laughs> uh, I didn't know it either until yeah. I looked it up. Yeah. That's cool, though. Ah, that's pretty cool. I kind of want to go, but it's a billion dollars. We, we used to go there all the time to do uh, DDR and all that stuff. This was like early. I was like skateboarding. I was 13. We used to go there all the time, take pictures right. and film stuff. If you go there and like on like a Saturday night, you'll see like models and like photographers like I go and then they'll take pictures and then run away Hmm. you know anyway that's what I want to do yeah what do you want I've kind of talked over you Um, and and stole your Christmas (laughs) (laughs) um if anything I just like want to perfect my gaming setup um, more peripherals (laughs) more more, more right at you have enough (laughs) looked right at you person doesn't Um, have enough stuff I don't know I have a separate uh like work setup and gaming setup so I have a lot of tech that I could uh I could get yeah, more things that'll yeah. solve all your problems. Yeah, that's what Christmas is about things. Yeah, the materialism is about right. stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's not nice unless you get a lot of stuff. So, what do you need specifically then? Um, 
Maybe a new desk mat just to match like the color scheme. Oh, baby. I- the Wolf Den apparel one ain't good enough. <laughs> Haven't we got a mouse pad for you? <laughs> Holy hell. Um, we sure, yeah, Intel yeah, ones. yeah. No, no. Or do we only have <laughs> one? Love it, love it. <laughs> Matches perfectly. Because <laughs> she wasn't there to get the Intel stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. Um, yeah. I don't know. I want to like decorate the room a little bit more, like get a, maybe a neon sign in the background. True. You know Loving about those. Mm-hmm. Custom neon is good. Yep. Mm-hmm. Maybe just cash then so she can like fund some of this. <laughs> yeah, sure. hey, bag baby. of cash. <laughs> I wouldn't say no. Okay. I'm liking what I'm hearing. Yeah. I just want to go to dinner. She wants a whole bunch of. We'll go to dinner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You get that too. <laughs> Yay. And then, and then after dinner. <laughs> couch time. Couch, couch time. time. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That is a, that's a good podcast. Yeah. That was good. We Speaking of couch it. time. Your couch time is over. Time to get up. Do some time work. Get up. Do You're something lazy. with yourselves. Pathetic peons. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. You're watching this for an hour. You, you waste the whole day. It's going to be dark soon. It's winter. Right Did you waste your break on this? Jesus. Get back inside. Gerald's waiting for you to make the rest of the sandwiches. <laughs> There's going to be one guy. We just nailed his whole life. He's like, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, throws his phone. <laughs> Gerald, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you were talking about Jared. From Subway. I don't, oh, Jared, don't talk oh, about that. Uh, don't talk about that. Don't talk about that. Okay. Can't talk about that. That's a very s- specific <laughs> difference. Yes. <clears throat> what are you laughing at? Thanks nice for coming to the podcast, everybody. It's okay. He's in jail. We'll go. We're going to do a Patreon exclusive episode now. All right. Like, comment, subscribe, rate us five stars wherever you're watching. Thank you, Kim, for hanging out. Thank you, Hannah, for hanging oh, out. Thank you. Kim thank has you. an Etsy that life. you can go and buy things at. If you want to help support her as well as the show, that's Danger Bear on Etsy. Right now Danger she's got Bear a lot of store, but yes. Danger Bear store on Etsy. <laughs> right now she has a lot of Christmas stuff that you there might be yeah. able to buy, unless it is two days before Christmas, in which case, no, probably not. <laughs> you got anything shop. you want to plug? Um, well, I am starting a, up a TikTok. Um, Love this. Where I'm um, doing some home organization stuff. So if you want to like get a look uh, into our new home we just had, we just bought together, then uh, go there. We have Sneak the peek. best spice drawer yes. you've ever seen. It was oh, I was nice. jealous. We watched that together, and I was, was like, "We need nice. to step up our game." And I bought containers that day. I was like, <laughs> "This is we can't this, be like this." This one mm-hmm. loves the container store. Oh, of course. It's a you've got to play on packing. Like That's my recommendation for you. Her in the okay. container store. <laughs> play on. <laughs> Please end the episode. Exactly. <laughs> okay, bye, 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 bye. <laughs>